Hello everybody, Rasbjorn is my name, welcome to the forest. In today's episode we are going to start building our base up. As we said previous video, I was waiting for some feedback on what should we do, as I didn't get any kind of feedback on based on this one, so I was like, okay, the base is already prepared to be built, I mean the house, so we are going just to build it. I don't know if I should uh, make it one more floor higher, I believe it's no point to build that big, because, well, we are going to be alone here. I don't know if Timmy will be ever allowed to be saved and brought here. Probably if he is going to be saved, he will be just brought to the mainland or somewhere. As the ending says, I don't know. It's a little spoiler, sorry. Also, I was wondering, should we start just to build another base somewhere else where we can have some activity? Because so far we have no cannibal activity up here to this base location. And again, I'm going to say it, I believe it's one of the best locations because you do not have any interruption for people that want to build your base feel like you're starting to survive and when you are ready to explore you can simply explore it but we will see in the future what the next update also brings it's in one day in a couple hours i believe maybe it's a big update maybe it's a small one we have no clue yet i also would like to finish this base and in this episode and then just go and have a little fight with the cannibals because I really miss fighting them in hard mode. Only problem I have when I'm going to fight them is if there is a cowman because that guy can be quite annoying. For the cowman usually you will want to stay somewhere high on the ground and just shoot him down because he's so fast and if he catches you he will knock you down and then the the big mutants, the other mutants or the cannibals can simply wake you up. Oh, we are getting hungry and very tired. I don't know, maybe I should listen to some music to regain our stamina or just sit on the bench. Let's eat first. Okay, looks like eating restores some of our energy, which is totally fine. We also have to build that rock wall to finish it because I already started it off screen because I wanted to have some protection. I believe the first row is already done or not from left to right or right to left. There is a little gap but there is the happy birthday trap. Probably I'm going to sleep tonight and work in the morning because I don't really want to work in the night and have it all dark for you guys. Also, I don't really want to use the filter that much, only for cave exploration where it actually it's very dark and nothing you can do, so you can see. And I hope they do fix this animals respawning. I mean, it's okay to respawn because if they don't respawn at all, then you will have a, a blank world. Anyway, I was saying, uh, especially for the hard mode, they should make the animals spawn less or be harder to be caught because it's no fun so far staying in this base for example and trying to survive because you can definitely survive with no problems at all i don't have a bed in this in this house which kind of sucks we should make one i believe this what do we need oh rabbit skin so three rabbits we will need more the moon looks so nice look how it, how fast it rises also the night and day cycle is quite short i'm going to sleep and i'll see you guys right in the morning because it's getting too dark good morning everyone welcome back to the forest we slept through the night we ate we drank something and now let's hope there is a rabbit we also need three rabbits now nah, it's a squirrel mm, i need sticks also but we have plenty of stick trees around okay we have enough to reset the traps oh the rain is falling down am i wondering do we get cold now when it rains even here probably not oh and i want to finish this one fast to see how it fixes it ah probably now it doesn't fix it or maybe let's destroy it and try to make it fit where is the building custom wall never mind you'll stay like this and probably that's it that is perfect i know how i managed to mess it up that much but as you can see i did manage to do it to mess it up i mean oh we have to check our little bunnies uh jane and uh, jimmy let's see how are they oh you got a baby awesome nice for you guys finally but why is it uh, as old as you this is quite weird I wish they, fi they fix that one and you actually have babies here and then the grown-ups 
I know maybe well actually not maybe they have to do more realistic stuff with the forest because it has the potential to be very realistic and it should be we are running out of logs and yeah we don't have enough for for the whole building nah that didn't fix as i hoped but at least from inside it's fixed probably from here i can just uh, i can just uh, hole cut it probably that's what i have to do oh here the front is not done so much work to do in a base that many people could say can we do it from here yeah we can uh, a base that we don't really use for probably because so far the canis do not come here come on mate come on mate there you go oh a little lag spike did something respawn no clue okay not going to bother to trick it from down here we will go the long way because we have time that's what you have in the forest time to find your son hmm. can we see anything down here any cannibal activity and i can't believe they they messed well they didn't mess they changed the the terrain again it's not as easy as it used to be you cannot really walk up the mountain here to go up the base as i i felt in the previous video so I would like I would like to ask you guys what is your favorite base location or your favorite base shape or something? I feel like I usually go with this kind of design always. I don't know why. Probably because when I was little that was what was in my house a house would be built like. So I would really like to know how do you go about building this? I'm not going to bother to use the chainsaw. I'm going to use the old baddie modern axe well not old because it's modern and i really wish they they do it like in the long dark the game that i recently bought and played for a while which was quite awesome it's them to make the items uh, have a, a different spawn a random spawn location it's what i meant sorry english is hard it's not my primary language but i do really feel like they should do it like that because that would have so much replayability like you would never know where you have to go to find a certain item but we shall see in time probably they are going to do that but probably no they let it because it's in alpha great wow what a turn i was about to say great i was about to break the house but no did not break it i should have brought more lead locks lead i'm going to do that right now why does this tree take about five hits or something I know, but it sem seemed very fast. Bambi, why are you not a rabbit? We need three rabbit skins. And I believe the rabbits in the cage do not offer you skin, which is weird. Probably it's a bug or probably it's intended like that. But definitely they should offer you skin because they have rabbit skin on them. Don't they? We are running out of trees in this base. But we have the regrown up. Or regrow mode, not regrown up. Damn, they are not human. Yeah, see, this one takes more because it's more, I don't know how it's called in English, it's more thick, or, no, thick, it's the, or thick, or slim, I don't know, or fat, it's more fat, I would, I'll go with that, compared to this one that I'm going to cut right now, let's see how many hits it takes, one, two, three, four, five, five hits only, this must be recently patched, because I don't remember this, I remember them, all of them had the same the same amount of uh, hits requiring it was 11 with the modern axe i'm pretty sure it was 11 but luckily we have really lot of trees around see another reason why this is very good location you have trees around you have a mini forest thing but it's not connected to the cannibals what do we have here two logs and i'm going to leave them here or can i put it more no and just bring another log sled back there so we don't spend too much time running with the logs around so how do you go about when you start the forest what do you actually build first or where do you build first i never ever built near the plane not even when i first started i was like always going away from the plane i don't know why from the plane crash i mean do you guys usually build there or you just 
go to different location or try to use the white shelters. I will, I'm really curious how other people do it. Because this opens your eyes like you can play the game differently than what you play and much nicer or it could suit your style more. You just didn't find it out. So I would really like if I get any feedback or it could be like the previous video where I don't get any feedback. And I get the feedback just from the people saying, oh, nice, nice. But when people say really this, didn't really watch it. So it's okay. I'm a small YouTuber. I don't have enough exposure or maybe I really suck. But I do enjoy what I make. So it's okay for me. Even if I get one or two views for me, it's okay. As I said in the previous video, this is going to be a little of a talk and a little of the building because it wasn't decided where to go next. So I'm going to to talk a little more with you, with you, the two you viewers that you are going to view it. Now, where is the other log sled? I have four log sleds, I believe that's 44 logs. So actually I'm going to cut down one more tree, no point to cut more. And then I, I will see if I can catch the rabbits. And I'm going down, down here where we are looking to go to catch the rabbits because there can be the cannibals so we have some activity and not just afk farming like like this log farming now oh we are so tired i didn't even notice nice we got so much exposure now like the cannibals could really see us and i'm trying to run as much as possible to gain some athletes no 33 logs and we have three spare ones which is awesome for us can we build from down here? I believe now it's too high. Yeah, it's too high. Okay, no point to do it like that. It's not so realistic. Also, we have to be more realistic. There is a guy that I watch on YouTube that plays really immersive. He is called uh, Marcus Garlic. Probably YouTube viewers that are going to watch it know him. I, and I like his style, how he plays the games very realistic. Someday I, I would like to be able to play like him, but I don't have the nerves like he does, to, the patience to play it like he does. Not many people have. Like, let's take for example, this is a jump to another game. Like, uh, let's play the Skyrim. Have you ever played the Skyrim? Probably you have. And there you probably had one time deciding decided to let's play it normal and not use the fast traveling because it doesn't feel immersive. I tried that for a while and then I was like, oh, it's so boring. Why, why do I have to walk from a city to another one? I can simply fast travel if I have the option. But that guy has the, the patience to, to do everything nice. He even goes to take the water with, uh, with the old pot in his hand and then comes back with the old pot in his hand, you know for the immersive feeling that he's not uh, dropping it. Ah, you little rock, you annoy me so much. I keep breaking, picking you up, not breaking, sorry, what's that? We are getting hungry. Let's check our inventory first. While we restore our stamina a bit. Does the chair restore? It should restore, yes it does, nice. Ah, you cannot see, this is one of the uh, features that I never thought until now look now while you sit you could open your book put it on the table and just look what you have but no you cannot have to sit up so we survived 23 days we have couple armor how do we have 65 doesn't it go even 10 20 30 40 and so on we are quite sane we are strong 29 strength that's good we are losing weight which is okay i believe athletism we have one we're staying good on uh, on stats, very good. We have to eat. Oh, this is spoiled. Let's toast it in the water. Oh no, we have fishes here. We have to ca take care of the fish. In real life, I bought myself a aquarium two days ago with four fishes and I have about 25 fishes. I'm still a newbie with them, so I don't really want to, to do anything bad to fishes as I love them. Not even the ones in game now. Thinking of it, I'm not even going to hunt them for food. This is my my natural living aquarium. Very beautiful and shouldn't be disturbed. We have to take care of our friends because they can be our friends, the fishes. Oh man, the stair 
I choose a very weird place as you can see where to fit it because it's quite annoying to walk up here but it is what it is we have to work with what we have to work I have one more question do you think the shark are still in the game because I don't think they are anymore in the game I didn't see them for quite a while perhaps because I didn't play that much with the, in the water but it's boring to use the water as a as a place and as you can see we already played it for 20 minutes I believe or so and not a single cannibal activity here and we disturb quite a lot of trees I don't know why is that maybe it's a bug with my save maybe not but I'm going to finish this house and as I see it takes quite a long time probably not going to hunt for the rabbits now but what I would like to do probably next episode it's go hunting or go scavenging something if someone decides to to say it what to do then that's what I'm going to do if not probably I'm going to to try build a base in the other location where we can have fun where we can fight with cannibals and retreat to here when we are safe probably that's the best way to go about oh man so long to finish this house where is the wall from here or it has no wall here it's a lot of space that I'm not using probably here I can just make a another storage place it could be and down here we have a lot of placers I wish this you could destroy oh, one more wall here it's starting to take shape and it's quite quite big house probably there it doesn't it doesn't need any more extension because look what extension do you need when you have so much space where you cannot you don't have what to fit in it you put a couple storage places and that's it oh what's this door doing it got weird physics one more log and we are done with this building house now let's check this is going to be our room because it's bigger I know why it has a weird shape I, I have to admit but probably here can be another storage places or when the apocalypse comes oh wait the house is not done it needs a roof custom roof oh boy this is going to be how it goes does it go to every single corner if it does it's awesome tell me it does oh boy yes it does do I want it like this yes I want it because this is the way we want to look not too pointy because this pointy would look totally stupid but not too flat either mm, like this how many 44 logs not a lot of logs I have to admit we need a bench up here we need a fence here we need a lot of stuff but I'm going to put the layout out off screen it's not that fun I already bored you guys enough with this building but we have Jimmy and Jane there and the baby it ha it needs a, a, a name if anyone at all or the two viewers that are going to watch till the end please give me a name for the third bunny so I know you actually watch it anyway thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode be cool bye bye